In the last episode, we loaded some relations and we added indexes and got from 400 queries almost down to four. But if you look closer, you'll notice that we load all the orders from the database first and then we perform our calculations, which is not ideal. We are fetching every single order just to calculate sums and counts. I'm Harris from Laravel News, and today we're moving these calculations to the database without breaking our clean architecture. Let's get right at it. So why calculate in PHP what the database is optimized to do? Let's create an optimized service that works great with SQLite. Let's open our sidebar, let's go to service here, create our new service, which we're gonna name Optimized Sales Report Service. Very catchy name, I know. And our Optimized Sales Report Service will extend our sales report service in this case. So instead of me writing the whole thing, I'm going to copy the changes from here and paste them right into our new class. Let's go ahead and discuss now, step by step. I'm going to include the code in a link in the description of this video so you can follow along. We have our get top customer optimized function up here where we pass again the period of string and the limit set three. Same thing like we had in the actual sales report service if you remember. This optimized version replaces the collection-based approach with pure SQL. It takes a period and optional limit for top customers. So let's go ahead and discuss this line by line. The first line shows us that we will use the query builder directly instead of eloquent models like we used to have. And this is already more efficient. Next line, we do a join for SQL to get usernames in one query instead of lazy load them all later on. And this also prevents the n plus one query problem. Then we have those two where methods here. We check where the order status is complete and where the created add is greater or equals based on the period start. If you go down to period start, we'll see that based on the string period, we have either start of day, start of week, or start of month. So only completed orders within our time period. Then we group orders by customer and we include both user ID and the name to satisfy SQL's group by requirements. And then we have a select row down here and those three lines. This is the key optimization. Instead of fetching all orders and calculating PHP, we let the database do the math with n count. So we sum all orders total, we name it total spent. We have the count of all the orders, we name orders count, and we're gonna use this later on. And then of course we do some order by descending order for the total spent we have up here. We limit them based on the limitation we have as a property in our function for the get top customers optimized, which is by default set to three. And then we get back all the orders. We have already done the heavy lifting inside SQL in this case. So down here, we just map all the customers. So we have the name, the total spent and the orders count. So this is the real impact. Instead of loading all orders into memory and calculate it in PHP, we push the work to the database level where it's optimized for the operation. And this reduces both memory usage and execution time dramatically. We are going to keep both approaches that we have so far, the optimized one with SQL and the unoptimized one, just to showcase the example, because we would like to have you know, fast queries for the dashboard in this case, but we also need the rich collections for complex analysis. You'll see what we'll do now. Let's go back to our dashboard controller. And here, instead of only have the dashboard report from the sales report service, we're going to remove this from here and we're going to accept a request from Laravel and we will define the service based on query parameters. So let's do service here. We're gonna get the service based on the optimized query parameter. Let's make this default to true. And based on the optimized, we'll do one of the two things. If it's optimized, then we, of course we'll load the optimized sales report service. Otherwise, let's go ahead and load the actual sales report service we used to have. And last but not least, go down here, we do report. And like before, we load the dashboard report based on the month. This is what we want to check. Perfect. Now we can switch between implementations and compare performance. And how we will do that? we'll do the same exact thing as we did in the previous episodes. So let's go to our routes file, web.php. Let's remove the old test we had for indexes. Let me copy and paste one part of code here, a new benchmark. We'll call this benchmark final. So we will use Laravel's benchmark implementation. Benchmark, measure, and then we'll have two things here. 
the initial implementation of our sales report service. We're going to go call dashboard report based on the month. And then the optimized version down here. Again, we call dash report based on the month again. And then we add 10 iterations down here just to have a better output. So let's go to our browser and let's visit benchmark final. You'll see that the initial implementation we used to have is from 1.7 milliseconds went down to 0 0.58 milliseconds, which is a huge improvement. Imagine you had more orders, like millions of orders, not only 10,000 orders like in this case. So what I did is I went ahead and added more orders. Instead of 10,000 orders now, we have 720,000 orders. We can see this in the database down here. Let's go ahead and load benchmark final again. So let's do benchmark final. Let's wait, it loads. Look at this. The initial implementation we used to have is 980 milliseconds, while the optimized version is only 97 milliseconds, which is a huge difference, right? Huge optimization difference. That's great. We're doing so good. So we've reduced the queries from almost 400 down to five, six queries, and we improved the speed over 10x. All while keeping our code clean, like we used to have in the previous episodes. Our architecture is clean and available when needed. The indexes and optimization work identically, whether you're using SQLite locally or MySQL or PostgreSQL in production. In the next episode, we'll add some smart caching to eliminate even more of those queries for repeated visits. If you like this video, click on the thumbs up, subscribe to Laravel News for more videos like that, and don't forget to click on this hype button in your mobile app. See you in the next one.